Okay, so, dobra večer. Dobre došli no Instituto Goethe. And unfortunately, this is the only thing I can say in Bulgarian. So I switched to English. I'm very happy uh, to have Reza Afizina and Isvarto uh, Artono here. Was that right? Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, we uh, are thankful for the Institute of Contemporary Art in Sofia who invited them. And um, well, they, we will now hear something about uh, Documenta 15 in 2022 um, because the curator collective Juan Grupa, which um, Reza and um, Isvarto are uh, members of, um, they, will be, they will curate Documenta 15 in 2022. And we are very, very um, honored that uh, you came to Bulgaria so early and uh, first time in Bulgaria and uh, we are eager to hear something about what you what are your plans for documenta of course um, uh, Juan Grupa is also uh, uh, the organizers, curators of uh, Jakarta Biennial, which is a really wonderful biennial that I had the chance to see some pictures. And so maybe we will say something about this too. But now I will uh, pass um, the word to Lucesa Boyajiev. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Marina. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who are not 100% uh, familiar with Documenta, I'm just, just going to say a few brief words that this format was uh, established in 1955 in the Ger West German city of Kassel as a tool and instrument to overcome the, the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the past of Germany, to reintegrate the West German uh, cultural scene and artistic world within the international scene. Uh, the first really, really important for contemporary art, not just for modern art, Documenta happened in 1972, and it was curated by Harold Zeman, may he rest in peace. And that was uh, the, also the time when Harold Zeman uh, is established what we know now as a curator of, uh, of, of international uh, contemporary art exhibitions. Uh, uh, in, in, in the following years, uh, they, they introduced in 1987, they uh, like design as part of contemporary art. In 1997, the 10th documenta was curated by the first female curator, Catherine David, and she introduced uh, a political agenda. Her book uh, called Poetics, Politics, directly connected contemporary art with politics and, and theory. In 2002, uh, also may he rest in peace, Okwi Envazor was the first non-European curator, uh, originally from Nigeria, although he had already established himself in New York and, and, and the United States as, as a thinker, as a curator, as a writer. Uh, what he did was to, to, to introduce the post-colonial agenda and to spread decentralized documenta in many other cities by, uh, by force of uh, organizing conferences in Lagos, for instance, Nigeria and other cities. In 2012, our 50% compatriot, uh, Karolin Christoph Bakarjiev, whose father is Bulgarian born, uh, curated the first really global documenta and more like a feminist oriented documenta. Uh, and then in 2017, uh, Adam Shimchik and his team, of uh, one of wh whom um, um, Marina Fokidis was here in Sofia about a month ago, so they did uh, documenta in two cities. Uh, in Kassel and in Athens, and by that time it was already clear that there is so much power uh, involved with Documenta that something needs to be done, and they luckily split it into two cities, they went over budget, so uh, Documenta is in the process of redefining itself. And then, and then I, I, my real hope is that uh, our colleagues from Ruang Rupa, which is not just Grupa, it's Ruang Rupa, it means uh, space for art, space for visual uh, uh, things. Uh, a, group of, uh, a group of nine people from Jakarta, Indonesia, 
Uh, they've been uh, invited to curate uh, and they've started working uh, the next documenta and I hope it will be a documenta with a human artistic face uh, once again. But uh, just be before uh, giving the, the floor to them, uh, I just want to say that they are actually the first artist to curate documenta. This was in, in the air ever since uh, 2004, let's say, when there were debates uh, to how to make it more flexible. But, uh, and, and then uh, in, in my, my little personal idea about Documenta in 2004 was to, for it to be curated by a football player. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the, my, my number one choice would have been Zinedine Zidane, who was like the top playmaker, because a curator is kind of a playmaker, you know, curating energies and, and uh, you can organizing stuff. Uh, it didn't happen, but now we have uh, Ran Grupa. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna say, uh, about them is that they are not only the first artist to curate Documenta ever, but they are also the first artist from Indonesia to take part in Documenta as curating Documenta, isn't it so? Okay, <laughs> and lastly, uh, thank you very much for Giotto Institute for hosting us. Thank you very much for, for the uh, Stolichna Programma Kultura, so the, the, uh, the program culture of the um, uh, Sofia municipality, which uh, is funding this, this program that we call, uh, it's, it's our, our project is Back to School, and it's a continuation of this um, uh, kind of a little bit of educational uh, platform to introduce um, uh, important, relevant curatorial positions to the scene in Bulgaria. My name is Reza Avicina and my colleague here is Wanto Hartono. Uh, as a behalf of Ruang Rupa, we would like to say thank you. It's such a pleasure uh, in here in Sofia. This is very first time for us to touch down Sofia in the beginning. But uh, for sure, thank you, uh, Good Institute, and also to friends and family at in Institute Contemporary Art in Sofia. Uh, this is uh, partly like our chance to say like we really, we really grateful to have you all friends here, and uh, please accept our gratitude and thank you very much. We're going to introduce ourselves as a part of collective, as an artist collective, uh, back in Jakarta. So if you could see in the map, actually if you say like uh, from Indonesia, it's a huge, and most of us didn't really travel that much regarding this archipelago. We have more than 17,000 islands. So that, that's why sometimes it's quite difficult on how we're going to engage ourselves as a part, knowing Indonesia. Probably some of you guys already know what is Indonesia. And in a sense, like, we are, we are staying like, in the bit of this city, which is in the capital, this is in Jakarta, which is inhabited for like 14 millions but sometimes during the day into like 16 millions uh, because of these travelings and commutes from each of other regions aside of Jakarta. So in that way, ever since that Ruang Rupa initiated in Jakarta, we are focusing mostly with our activities, our daily situations and life uh, uh, concerning about the things that happen within most of us back in Jakarta. So Ruang Rupa, as a, as a beginning, I, I would like to address like Ruang Rupa, it's begin in 2000, which is it's partly like a six of us, but it was ever since before, back in the 90s, we, we always been together in, in when, when we were still in college. And also partly like in the political background, within our concern during that time, we still under new order regimes, which is they have like so many different kind of rules. I think mostly in, during the 90s is quite a similar uh, uh, issues or matters uh, throughout the world. But in the sense, we kind of like living within these kind of situations, like uh, questionings regarding the democracies, freedom of expressions, and also like in particular, if we talking about Jakarta, our most common, common enemy is about the space itself. So when we start in 2000s regarding the space, we don't, we don't have any space, but Indonesia, or even us who live in Jakarta as a cultural, as a cultural traditions and related to our own body, we always try to find a house to rent. So because we, are, we have this kind of connections, if we uh, have a house, then we're going to have living room. So when we have a living room, then we're going to have lots of friends who came to our living room. Rather than sitting in the studios, or uh, 
renting a big rooms without any notions of concerning about the house because a house is a home for us because most of us didn't have any house or home during that time. So when this kind of engagement regarding the space itself since the beginning, the name of Ruang Rupa, it start to come up because Ruang uh, in Indonesia language, which is, is it's part of Sanskrit, it's its main space or a room. And Rupa is also part of the Sanskrit. It means a visual or a form. So we try to uh, combining all together and then it's becoming uh, Ruang Rupa, just, just simple like that. So because we need some space or rooms that most of us would like to engage with different kind of things, many things, because most of us also individually, we still practicing as an individual artist. Uh, and also partly we have like, uh, I mean, in Jakarta's context, we don't really uh, put ideal to have studios or to work as an artist in the studios because the complexity of the city itself uh, didn't give us this kind of notions. I mean, some of us did have a study in the art school, but the art school itself didn't um, acknowledge you for becoming an artist, for example. So mostly, like uh, uh, ones who studied in, in in the art school in Jakarta, most of it, I mean, during the 90s, it's always thinking about the production matter, which is you work in the productions, not merely about the artists. And also, in particular, the other related cities that connected to us is Yogyakarta, uh, is Central Java, also have very strong. Uh, relations to the artistic practices and most of them becoming really good artists in the sense they have like big studios they have like a showroom themselves and most of the galleries nowadays is live is staying in Yogyakarta but us in Jakarta we're trying hard to be an artist to live as an artist to work as an artist but it's difficult because we for sure like financial wise we need to afford ourselves to do many things. And for sure, like regarding uh, several other uh, positions, it's good that uh, Cesar mentions about the football. Because Indonesia, even though Indonesia is really bad in football, but we love football. Our methodology actually is a football, exactly. Like, because in football, you find yourself into different, uh, we, they have like several different positions, and as well, they have also substitute, in the sense. And Ruang Rupa didn't have any membership, for sure. So in 2000s, it's begin within six, six of us. But the originally, up until now, after 19 years, it's only three of us. But actually, if you said, like, uh, how many now in your ecosystem? It was 80 of us and 56 of them in the payroll. Most of them is an artist and individual artist. How are we doing it? It's difficult, but in a way, we always trying different kind of method each of every year. We also dealing with the proposals. We also dealing with the finding some f good funding, doing some report, uh, creating different kind of activity, making a festival for sure. And aside of that, we still have importances to do is our own and also a partly as a collective. So Rorupa have these two model or two positions as an artist collective and as a, as as an supporting system as we call it as an artist collective for sure we engage with different kind of this artistic value because we are part of the uh, uh, we part that relate to the what so called related artistic practices but the supporting system actually is the one that we taking care of because we need this so called profits to support the non profits so we, we, we work mostly with this kind of dualisms in the sense. So that's why probably this is the things that uh, put us with the different kind of uh, uh, different kind of uh, situations. Uh, this is like uh, introductions for the things that's happened so far with us. So this is Ruang Rupa as a space during that time we still uh, uh, a house because each of every two years in 2000 we have to move from house to house and always engage with the neighboring or in the neighborhood area because we don't want to lose our sense to like really close to the neighbor or really close to the daily situation that we live in 
this is like really important to ourselves and also the engagement with the land. I mean, with the uh, with the uh, uh, horizontal ground, for example. So that's why for us it's not necessary to live in an apartment because like it's vertical. We don't get used to it. I mean, we always stay in the ground because in the ground we could sense the, the feels on meet different kind of relations. You walk out and then you meet your neighbor, you say hi, you say hello, and then suddenly you meet other things that, that connect to our uh, uh, daily living. So this is like uh, partly what we said earlier about Ruang Rupa. It's an artist initiative. So we need to initiate ourselves by knowing what is Jakarta. That's, that's the first thing that come up in our mind, especially after the New Order regime uh, collapse in, back in 98. Most of us in Ruang Rupa is part of the College Student Forum, a college student movement and also College Student Forum. But in the sense, some other like really changing after that. Not about the reformations, not about the uh, openness about the democracies or the open expressions, but we deal with the different kind of matter, uh, most of like how to deal with the institution, for example. How to have yourself or position yourself as an artist collective, because we never heard this kind of term. We never heard this kind of term like curators. We never heard this term of national art gallery. We have it, yes, as a structure, yes, but how to engage, we don't know. Because none of us have this kind of experience earlier, even when we were in college. So that's why we need to challenge and also to articulate, that's much more important for us, to articulate these kind of notions. What is artist collective, actually? Should we act working collectively? Because it's addressing, seems like it's addressing that we, we didn't work collectively. But actually, if you, if you know, like in the traditions, in our traditions, actually, the, the collectivities is always there. We call it gotong royong. It's also partly like the, the way of this language. Like gotong royong means like you carry all together. So actually, this collectivity is already there. But once you address it, and then suddenly it's becoming discourse. So that's why we mostly work as a as a way on how we're going to address ourselves during the time up until now to, to have more uh, involved with the conversations and also with the matter of uh, meeting and uh, creating different kind of friends most of the time. And the most important thing for us, why? Is because we love to hang out. as easy like that. For us, the most important thing regarding the notions of Ruang Rupa practices is because we love to hang out. We have this name, actually, for hangout. In Indonesia's term, hangout is nongkrong. Nongkrong means like you use squatting. You do this, like you do this, and then you talk. You, you kind of like uh, decompress you regarding your time. You, you feel like uh, uh, it's the same levels, and then also you could talk, and then Lots of things that's being created mostly because of this hangout thing. So that's why in Ruang Rupa, we don't believe in such what so-called meeting. Because every day since our college, we're always meeting up until now. So that's why it's really bored to have like, oh, we have a meeting. Actually, it's not a meeting. We just like hang out there. So sometimes, uh, time-wise, it's not so efficient, actually. And we don't secure within our decisions. But the things that we are, uh, the things that most important to us as a collective or working collectively, partly as an artist or as an organization, as we call it, is a trust. So each of every one of us have different personalities, have different kind of intimacies, have different kind of approach regarding our related artistic practices. This is the two of us out of nine since we appointed as an artistic director for the Documenta. But for example, if probably some other occasions you invite the other two, which is different from us, they go and speak differently. But the things are, we always connected with this kind of trust because we need that. This is, needs a very long exercise regarding this. But in a way, sometimes it's quite difficult how to explain regarding this matter because most of the time we, we do it. So that's why it's, it's really hard to find what is Ruang Rupa in website, for example. None of us write. 
most of the time we just collect uh, different kind of data just to find ourselves oh so uh, this is that they think about ruang rupa for example like uh, the first thing that media find about ruang rupa is actually not our collective but it's kind of like uh, like craft industry or something like that, which is the name is quite similar, and they create uh, like different object for amusement park, and also they found like a, a, a photo regarding one of our member getting married in Hong Kong, or the other, it's difficult. I mean, we are we are too lazy probably to just develop our website, which is now we need to like really taking care more serious, but in the sense during that time, we let them to identify ourselves. I mean, for sure that. We, we have lots of things that we've done so far just to identify ourselves, but we need also other perspective. Even though it's false, we're okay. Even though it's wrong, we're okay. But at least we could have this kind of dialogue in between, not, uh, not about like telling this wrong or telling this right. Because for example, ever since that we live in a different kind of neighborhood, for example, in, in south of Jakarta, they always said like, uh, what is wrong Rupa actually, is it? Uh, a painter studios? Is it uh, even organizer? Or uh, uh, they said like what? Like community center or uh, audiovisual uh, office or something like that. But we try to explain this kind of matter to our neighbor or also to our spectators. And when somehow they relate with this kind of notions and then suddenly they realize, oh, okay. Then we find out what is wrong Rupa through this kind of dialogue. Even though probably some of them already in the knowing us from the festival, for example, like since 2003, we have this what so called uh, Jakarta International Video Festival. We call it OK Video, and it's running uh, every two years after that. But since the last 2017, I think that's the last time that we held this festival, we said, ah, we, we're, we're kind of like really tired. In, in, in this creating festivals. Probably we could make like different kind of exercise that really intense, not waiting every two years, but probably we, we could de develop sub, uh, something in, in, in each of every month, for example. It's much more important for us to, to grab these uh, 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 this, this notions. And this is what we do actually regarding the, the way on how we exercise ourselves. We have exhibition, we have a project, a workshop, artist in residency, and journal publications. But this is in the beginning, because we thought that for having this kind of uh, um, programs, we're going to have different friends that come in. So uh, we, we not only expected the one who came to us is mostly an artist. No, we, we need to find different kind of way on how we, we, we initiate ourselves as a space. This is our first uh, network at the beginning because some of us, uh, partly as an alumni in, in, uh, from the Rijks Academy, and then the Ray Network is a Rijks Academy uh, Artist Initiative Network, but in 2005, I think this already gone. And we also connect with the things so called uh, Jakarta 32 Degrees, is partly because we would like to make friends with other younger friends like mostly they came from college. So this one is initiate uh, for them actually to have their own meeting and conversation within their own uh, regarding uh, their notions or knowledge uh, about their own practice to uh, visual culture in general and also partly other different kind of theory. So that's why the one who came in during that time in 2004, the first time it's, it's not only uh, art students, but also from other different university in Jakarta. So at the first, we engage with the six, and now we, we engage with 32 university academy and institutions uh, 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 across different kind of disciplines. And in 2008, actually, it's big, uh, not a big, but we have delivered a different kind of strategy on how we're going to run Ruang Rupa, because during that time, we are very lucky. Uh, we could rent a house quite cheap. Then we said like, this is a big place, uh, still a house, but it's quite cheap and it's quite strategized uh, within the area. So in 2008, uh, we tried to make more uh, 
basically it's, it's about the collaborations because beforehand we we have a lot of support uh, for uh, exchange for example but in 2007 actually we didn't we, we we didn't have any support no more and for us it's always difficult how to engage with the governmental support actually the governmental support is always there but in the sense we somehow didn't meet any expectation in both of the, both of the, our, the the parties so in the way it's okay we don't it's not about it's not that we don't want to work with the government but in the sense we find out sometimes that's not important also to work with the government because if this both of the party didn't meet any expectations then for us it's, it's, it's not used to to having this kind of necessities so within our practice then we start to develop uh, this kind of what so called programs for example like within the art lab and support and promote and the ok video for sure because it's a part of our media and research and development and this uh, this statement for example how we we going to work uh, toward the uh, different kind of issues and then how it's also connected uh, for example why we have gallery because actually during that time in 2008 so many friends that come to our place is always facing the structures as a house like for sure they 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 they're quite comfortable just went to wrong rupa every time they want sometimes they could sleep there and then and then they feels it's like important to have like living room but sometimes when we develop something regarding uh, different kind of uh, project activity we need uh, some room uh, for us to to put a showcase and we just playing with this matter of the white cube we just transform our space into a kind of like a white cube kind of because actually this is like mostly living room but we we ha we develop different kind of activities uh, toward different kind of notion just like uh, uh, we said earlier that we don't know about what is curator actually so we invite the curator to make a workshop with us just to explain or to to mostly to share and to have this conversation regarding experience so the second words came experience so we need to experience to experience more how to deliver these notions of experiences like veritasical it's not because the experience need to be shared within within dialogue not presentations or sharing so that's why uh, during that time it's quite important way on how we're going to have us sustain as an artist collective and also we also dealing with the how we sustain as a organization now in the level of how we're going to support ourselves we were thinking like probably we we need to find a new model of economy then we we, we suddenly comes up with the notions of uh, lumbung which is that's indonesian language but lumbung in literally probably in english world is called rice barn so rice barn connected to the to the notions on collective pot so we were thinking like if we have different kind of resources from financial until the working uh, support even time so we could just give to this notion of rice barn so in this rice barn actually we we going to acknowledge different kind of uh, way on on people could distribute and also to contribute but most of the time we need more into contributions uh, by others not only financial but also to uh, in, and also the learning process for having like a different kind of experience that we could uh, convert uh, uh, converted into different kind of conversations and then and then we invite someone and then to to give a uh, uh, a conversation so acknowledgement regarding the experience to create a different kind of network so, so everybody could use it and in particular for sure we deal also with different kind of activities like uh, publishing um, and also journals and and related to the uh, new media uh, uh, as we said earlier uh, the decision is it's not difficult but in the sense sometimes the decision it's making um, way on how uh, uh, questions regarding our uh, self like who's going to come to Singapore Biennale within this uh, time, for example. Then 
we don't have any decision like we just like oh, okay probably Iswanto could go there probably Ade could go here probably so we 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 used to this kind of on how as a collective we 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 work differently and we engage with a different kind of a uh, way on how we going to work together as a, as as a par particular collective pot because in collective pot there's a generosities there's also trust there's also sufficiencies and the most important thing there's also humor so in the uh, at this slides actually this is what we try to achieve up until now as a as a one model that we approach for the acknowledge of the method that we're going to introduce in the next documenta 2022 the notions of on how we 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 we're working together uh, the notion on how we're going to create collective pots, the notion on how we're going to decentralize de-staging, and the notions on how we're going to like really interact or really anchoring locally. Uh, for example, in this matter is in Kassel and Jakarta. Because we also have the things that comes up within within the, the, the good school. Uh, our oh, so we get this. Okay, but we'll explain a little bit about good school. Good school is, is, a, is, a, is a collective studies. Then we run uh, for the last one year, but it's, it's been planned since 2010. Because uh, we, we need to sustain uh, in the way on how the education also could spread uh, naturally and also in particular how this experience could be distributed as the way of sustain. Because we, we're not thinking about the sustaining ourselves financially, but also we need to sustain uh, by knowledge, these notions of knowledge, because each of every one of us uh, have a different kind of uh, practices so far, have different kind of chance and probably luck to get uh, uh, many different kind of experience regarding our practices, but in the way how to deliver this as the notions of uh, code like curriculums or in the syllabus. So back in 2010, actually we already worked with the other uh, two different collective. I have to show uh, two other different collective, which mostly ever since already working together with us uh, hand to hand by Lending uh, short of the human resources, uh, like a graphic designer, filmmaker, or something like that. But in 2010, we tried to align them all together with Ruang Rupa to becoming part of the uh, collective of collectives. So that's why it's, it comes up with the name of the term that we call ourselves as a one ecosystem. So that's why if now uh, someone saying like, uh, uh, so, uh, what is Rong Rupa nowadays? Rong Rupa is a part of the uh, of the part of ecosystem, and one of it is Good School, our collective studies, which is this is like collective studies that initiated by three of our uh, uh, three collective that based in Jakarta, and and most of these collective also artists themselves. Uh, but the one who developed these notions about the uh, education system is the one collective called Serum, which is most of them study in the art and pedagogy which is, is really helpful to make them and also together with us to create the notions on how we're going uh, working collectively as, as, as a one entity uh, and also how we're going to deliver uh, the notions of the model of the, our new economy regarding this, uh, regarding this lumbung or collective pot or rice barn. So we divided like two divisions. One division is like us, for example, we just concentrate within our artistic practices, not thinking creating proposal. But the other divisions, it's their professional, which is handling what we call business unit. So the business unit actually taking care regarding this, all this monetizing, uh, profits, financial, legals, proposals, uh, also contracts and everything, taxes, everything that we never been deal with this kind of before. So back in 2015, actually, it's initiated uh, for the first time that we have this business unit. This is the core unit who in the way or in some way they try to monetizing us. <laughs> we, could, we could work differently, but 
but now we, we could like really working really focused. So I think Iswanto, I share the mic to Iswanto just to share uh, the notions regarding the collective pot and the lumbung as a part of our economy models in the sense, and I will continue later with the other notions that related to our practices so far. Yeah, uh, actually when, when the, we first uh, um, invited to, uh, uh, to be um, for the competition for the documenta, then uh, I think yeah, it was uh, selected by a panel, a jury, who uh, I don't know how many, but then uh, the thing is that yeah, we just asked to each other whether we gonna do this or not, because I think, uh, of course, we know documenta is like a, a yeah, huge, important shows in Europe, but I think, I mean, like we are actually not really get very uh, related with this kind of things because, yeah, like uh, Lou already say, none of Indonesian artists have been participated in the documenta, and uh, and uh, from ten of us, I think maybe only one who visit the documenta, and uh, the rest of the member actually never been there, and and we just started the school. Reza already said the good school, which I think uh, it's quite, it's very important for us to be have more attention for this uh, what we had, and then what we think is only makes sense for us to participate and uh, in the documenta. If um, yeah, we had these two practices relation, which uh, has to be connected within each other. So uh, uh, for sure, we know this is really big, and we don't want lose one or the other so uh, uh, that's what actually how it started and then there is a funny story also when we yeah, finally we choose uh, been chosen and then I think there is uh, one also uh, media in Germany I think it's fast or something I remember yeah, it was written that uh, yeah actually like Reza say when you browse Ruang Rupa in the internet then uh, in the website, then there are many, few Ruang Rupas, and one of them actually is a wedding marriage decorator. So, uh, and I think these guys maybe seen this, and then they say, what is this collective doing from decorator, interior, and so on, and become the artistic director of the documenta? And then, uh, yeah, we, we all actually, we live and yeah, it's, it's kind of many things, but uh, then we start realize that, yeah, also, yeah, there are many eyes already start to uh, 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 put uh, a, a quite hard pressure for us. Uh, what we offer or what we uh, offer during the, uh, a jury actually is that we not uh, coming up with a proposal of a theme or a theories or a, a subject which usually derives the whole uh, a show going down like uh, I mean a kind of uh, a genius kind of things with this subject theme but we actually uh, offering a proposal which uh, a kind of protocol or method or a system in which uh, 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 documenta also to be part of it. And uh, actually it's like what already uh, shown the, the lumbung ideas, the rice barn, or uh, the collective pot actually, which uh, uh, yeah, we've been, so it's really based on our practices after 19 years, and uh, it's drilling. If you, some of you read the proposal already, I mean, or the the, um, the media release, I think it's still with uh, sustainability, how to sustain, and then, yeah, that's how actually we are thinking and dealing with this man, um, many times of the internationally uh, uh, body of uh, funding, which, it's never sustained actually at the end. And then uh, uh, what we're trying to practice is how we sustain within ourselves and through this collective pot. So, and of course, Indonesia is um, a 
used to be colonized by Dutch for uh, many, for long, uh, many, three centuries, sometimes, two centuries, 200, 300 years. And yeah, this power relation between the post-colonial, the East, the West, and uh, the Global South, and uh, yeah, so I think this kind of, uh, uh, what we already uh, uh, deal with for many years, since we were born in Indonesia, I think, that one of things which also we address for uh, 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 in the proposal and uh, for sure that we have uh, uh, actually also we uh, we came up uh, proposing a platform for the documenta and uh, this platform which uh, we propose that it will sustain after the documenta, so when even the documenta is over in after the show, and this platform of the collective pot will sustain. I mean, like it, it basically a share based kind of platform for the artists, for the collectives uh, to share each other, uh, share knowledge, intangible, uh, tangible, uh, economic, and uh, infrastructure along together with where the documenta itself actually is a part to be part of it. And uh, of course, like we already also uh, approach and talking with the institution like the Kyoto Institute uh, uh, in Munich about how uh, this kind of platform will be uh, uh, to be involved with this kind of uh, uh, platform. And then yeah, there are many uh, collectives and institutions will come and then uh, the idea is actually, yeah, uh, how to uh, create a more, what we think actually, uh, uh, of course, I think documenta also deal with geographical politics where, uh, yeah, like what we experience actually, like Indonesia never been invited and always like there is a criticism of, of, of um, dominated by um, um, uh, whites and uh, I think there are many things, and, and the female, the uh, patriarchal, and the, yeah, I think uh, male and female, I think, yeah, so this kind of things which we're trying to uh, address also how to uh, uh, resolve of this kind of issue within this platform. So it's more actually shared basis with, with more, uh, I don't say democracy, but more uh, in a parallel, you know, uh, 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 level kind of things, which is more uh, 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 discussion and, you know. And then uh, for things that, the other thing is also we, we uh, uh, came up also the, with, with, with a proposal for create more issues on ecological, sustainable, and how to create this kind of uh, project within the doc documenta is more sustained. <laughs> in terms of uh, um, from the art shift, or projection, from the production. And then um, I think that's how actually the, the earliest start of how uh, uh, stories for, for the beginning, why, when, when we involve within the document. And then I think I pass first to Reza again, then we can continue later after. Uh, so this is like, uh brief uh, slide that we're, it's a part of Ruang Rupa as an artist collective that uh, working in different kind of practices if we get invited as an artist collective. So we engage with different kind of uh, notions mostly through uh, daily narrations in the sense on how we, we, we always connected to the things that really close to us. I mean, Regarding what Iswanto said earlier, uh, our proposal to documenta actually like the ones that really important that we addressing to them is, would you like to take a risk together? Because during that time, at the same time, at the same point, uh, we already have good school, which is that's our most responsibility. Because good school is not about ruang rupa, but good school is about the notion of ecosystem regarding our collective with other collectives. So in the sense, this baby is still in the cradles. Then we got selected and appointed as the artistic director of Documenta. So that's why 
we need to addressing them. If you would like to take a risk together, then we're going to accept uh, or to send our proposal. Then from this start, the conversations, it's starting. It's really good, actually. It's really nice just to sense that we have these positions to addressing also to them because for sure, if during that time they, they see us, also they, for sure they, they, they will have and also take a risk altogether because we have a good school. In particular, it's, it's, it should be used by them as a part of their resource also because Documenta is also for us is part of the resource of this knowledge about uh, regarding the, 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 the development of, 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 the, of the art itself. So that's why the, the, this is have to meet. Because we also have a practice and we also have a responsibility regarding our space and for sure Documenta also have uh, other importances. So luckily that we met, this conversation met. So when we, when we start to dig in the second proposal, then we, we addressing the things that happen in good school most of the time regarding the notion, mm, sorry, regarding the notions of these uh, uh, subjects as a matter. Because our 19 years of practices, suddenly we, we try really hard up until now just how to formalize these different kind of uh, subjects that related to our practices so far, which is, is now becoming our subject on how we create or, uh, or uh, put together uh, in the articulations on the collective pots, the articulations of lumbung, the articulation of rice bar. Because for sure it's really difficult to addressing uh, uh, even for us in, in, in our practice, because this is the first time that we really deal with this kind of, uh, of, of the matter. Like all of this subject actually is all of our questions in regards to the knowledge or acknowledgement regarding what is contemporary art today. Like this is on the 11th out of it, but as a part of how we go, how we illustrating it, it just as as simple like this. All this illustration, for example, actually it's taken mostly in the street of Jakarta, or in particular in the way of, on how Indonesians as a gestures of collectivities, it's there. We're talking about the uh, for example, we're talking about. Uh, laboratory of collective. This is like uh, the engagement of the like uh, traditions. When people like uh, helping uh, in the street, for example, or uh, dealing with the society, for example, or asking or basking uh, some money in the street, or uh, using a public space, or like having family in the one cart, for example. So this is illustrate on how we have this closeness upon our society itself by acknowledge this is actually the, 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 the collective practices, which is in the, in the short term uh, of terminology, and then we just kind of addressing uh, this is uh, the way how we practice it so far. So, so that's why we're not creating new proposal, we're not addressing by theme, but we offering a method. The method on how is related to the, the thinking about how or questionings regarding what is collectivity today. We need to make a more conversation regarding this matter. How it's related to the publication, how it's related to the education, how it's related to the, I mean, concerning regarding the program in Documenta, how related to the guide, how related to the security measure, how related to the to the other neighbor, how relate to the Fredicianum, how it's to relate to the Documenta Halle, how it's related to the archive, how it's related to the publications, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then suddenly how it relates to the 100 days of programs. But the most important thing for us, because as we believe that our practice need to be somehow anchor in this local or in a daily basis, so we need to anchor ourselves in castle. We need to be there, we need to feel, we need to like really working together, we need to cooking together, eating together, just the things that we always done in Jakarta, as a collective, as a part of other neighboring societies. Because the question is always sometimes arise, how are you gonna deal with the society in castle? I said like, we don't know, for sure. Because that's particularly should be natural in the way, just like relationship, sometimes it's, could make it, sometimes it's not, but at least you try in, in between to having some dinner, 
to go to the movies, to having uh, playing in the park with the kids, to taking kids to the school, and then see this kind of uh, different uh, no notions. For sure, probably the most of our concern now is the regarding the weather, because most of Indonesians for sure like 32 degrees each of every years. But now we are going to deal with the winter, with the autumn, and something like that. We're really excited to see the snow, but in the way, for sure we have to deal with this kind of uh, weather in the sense. But we need to experience this matter. We need to having this short of very probably s simple conversation in regard that we need to be in touch with someone there. Then how we going to relate and how we going to connect regarding the issue, for example, placemaking or working as the as a collective because we need also to learn from them because we, we find out that they have lots of resources, which is really important. I think most of you guys here quite lucky to experience Documenta or to engage with different uh, some of the programs there. But as Iswanto said, for us, this is the beginning, the second time we touched down in Castle. This is also a question from them to us, like, how come that this is the first time you, you come to Castle? You never been seen Documenta? Yeah. We are really fresh, so we're going to start Documenta from zero, we said. Because this is actually good for us by notions, this kind of value, because we know, for example, if we're talking about the football methodology, seems like we're dealing with a heavy contender. But for sure, playing football is not about scoring, but it's about on how you're going to communicate to each other fields, and also how you're going to pass the ball, even though in the end you just only hit the bar. But at least you're going to have a good 11 players or more plus substitute and you're going to have like different kind of daily exercises and you know when the ball should pass and when the ball should score so this is this is the notion about the determinations and also about back again to the things that mostly addressing uh, in in our knowledge of uh, uh, sharings and also the knowledge of uh, of togetherness in it. So this is this is the way that we, we, we try to practice. But in relation to that, probably if you don't mind, we're going to back again by showing 10 minutes of videos that related to what's hap what's happened so far with with Ruang Rupa since two thousands, uh, like the first fifteen years of Ruang Rupa. Uh, that relate to uh, uh, our activity. Hopefully it works. Ya 
jangan sejak dini hari dari semua sudut kota ini menghindari panas matahari dalam lomba berburu rejeki tak ada lagi yang berjalan kaki naik bajai atau metro mini semua orang punya motor satu dari majikan sampai pembantu Woy! Jakarta Motor City Semua ngebuta terkendali Spion mobil disikat Trotoar diganggangin Tak takut mati Apalagi takut polisi Maaf deh, ada tidak takut saya? Coba sekarang keluarkan surat-surat ini juga ada nih surat nikah Ini juga nikahnya nikah siri Tak apa kan? Tak diperlukan gelar sarjana Apalagi ijazah SMA Asalkan kau bisa naik sepeda Bayar DP murah Motor bawa ke rumah Sudah banyak yang menjadi Apa 
So, in this 15 years, this is the things that we do so far. So I think that could be our, uh, we could say like, uh, we're going to give uh, this conversation back uh, to you all, and then hopefully we could just make um, different con conversations uh, within us together here, uh, just to, uh, after, uh, these notions about uh, Ruang Rupa in general. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you once again. So many interesting things to learn and to think about. And my question is, how much in your activity as a group you're focused on the process itself and not the result? So is the process more important for you in your activities than the results, whatever it is. And uh, uh, do you take care about the archiving or documenting your, uh, your activity? Do you have maybe the, ar the archive of your group? And, can the, uh, and if yes, can the archive of your group be part of the exhibit or be part of any of your project or a group show or whatever? Thanks. Thank you for the question. And I think for the, I think the process and the result, yes. Uh, for sure, process is very important for us. Like, uh, I think I mentioned before that starting next year, I think we will start the project in Kassel, which uh, will slowly growing up uh, bigger. And then, um, yeah, the result for sure, I think like uh, we think both, but like in our practice uh, for years, I think uh, process is a part of which is very important for us, for sure. I mean, like we always uh, 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 put a process in the first place, then the result will come after the uh, whatever. I mean, like uh, maybe sometimes when we did the project, even like like uh, when we did for uh, making a works like you saw in the uh, Sao Paulo or uh, everywhere. I mean, the Biennale. I think 
um, process is very much, I think even like the process is part of the show actually. So uh, we never actually, very rarely came up with uh, a, a final object or a, a kind of, yeah, let's say things with aesthetic, but like we create a school, karaoke inside the uh, exhibition room. And it's also, uh, uh, yeah, we always think about uh, relation between the Biennale, the museum, and uh, I think how to uh, address and rethinking again the concept of this museum and the Biennale. Like what we did in the Sao Paulo, actually, we acting like a parasite inside the, uh, uh, the Biennale itself and we curate inside the Biennale and also we have a show, we have a talk, and we use the resources what the Biennale has. And it's also what we did when we had the show in Pompidou Center, we did the same thing. So. Uh, uh, we use many resources actually, uh, 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 which the uh, Pompidou has, that, like the, the trash from the storage of their, uh, in the storage. They have a huge storage, many trash from the past preview uh, uh, exhibition, which has never been used actually. And uh, yeah, we got access to use it, and yeah, uh, we work with the worker union of the Pompidou, and I think, yeah, I think this kind of relation between institution and the collective and the social which society, which I think commonly uh, we like to address by the process actually. So uh, uh, there is one thing. And the archive, yes, I think uh, we already, I think, prepare. And we also uh, asked, uh, what is very interesting, I think the Documenta has a very huge archive and I think it's very uh, like a treasure thing for the artists. And I think few documenta already attempted to work with uh, this archive. And then I think uh, for sure we will uh, uh, work with them closely. And then uh, just rethinking how the relation between the, uh, the archive and the artist works and actually what, what also we did within our, our own archive. And yeah, let's see what what's, uh, but it's good thing because now the archive is part of the Gigi MBH. It's not a part of the city, so we can work closely with them. And also related with this, what we call the platform. So we will, for sure, for this archive, not only for the documenta, but also with other archiving uh, resources in Asia, in South America also. And uh, like we work already closely with the Asian Art Archive in Hong Kong. And also, we will ask many other archive uh, uh, institution, department, uh, maybe school, which uh, would like to work with us together to uh, uh, being presented for, for how, I mean, for this project, for the documenta. But if your question related to our archive as Ruang Rupa, then it's going to be a big problem up until now. But anyway, we're going to share uh, this, our PDF. We call it Siasat. Siasat means <coughs> the strategy. Uh, we call it uh, within 10 years of Ruang Rupa. This is actually the actual archive, which is still in beta versions. But we're going to deliver this uh, freely. This is in PDF file. So this is partly like our kind like manifesting different kind of elements that we've deal so far in the last 10 years. So for sure, it's like if we, if we concerning archive, then we're going to talk about the how you documenting your process, how you articulate the sense of uh, your artistic practices as an artist and also as a collective artist, and how do you connect it to the things uh, within, in particular, in the supporting system? For sure, this kind of imagining archive, in particular, uh, uh, we have this kind of weakness. But in a sense, the most important things right now is because if you come to Jakarta, for sure, you always all welcome to come to our space. Then that's the actual archive. I mean. We have an archive. We have for sure MediaTek. We have our own uh, video library. We have our own uh, library up until now. We're so lucky to having this kind of luxuries and also privilege to having them, especially in our space now, uh, in our space uh, that we finally could own our land. But 
if you ask us and we could say, uh, share you or if you come to Jakarta then you're gonna see and you're gonna feel yourself you're gonna be touching them and most of the time we have a living archive which is which is, is particular the witness of uh, the process about the ruang rupas because each of every person have a different uh, perspective and point of view which is for us I mean for me personally or individually it's also quite difficult to get uh, the, the different kind of experience that all the Ruang Rupas member had so far, but for sure this is going to be like a, a like long time homework for concerning the archive, because uh, most of the time we need someone to collect and also someone to accompany us and someone also to write about us and someone for sure to put like really intense conversation. So because we don't want only as a writings, we don't want only to take a photograph, we don't want this kind of, uh, uh, this is kind of like, uh, like uh, it's becoming only an object. But we, we need more, it's to be more delivered as a part of the conversations. So this is the things that we, 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 we were thinking about the archive. So that's why uh, later on, uh, we're going to pass this uh, 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 so-called our manifest. It's a part of our archive. So in this uh, tactical guide, uh, we call it as easy as a tactical guide for artist-run initiative. So in the way, this is our method in Jakarta. Probably Sofia would like to have very uh, necessities or base in Sofia that related to this project. You could testing out. You, you, you could have testing it and then probably you could have like a different point of view afterward because uh, some of our friends did testing it, oh sorry, some of our friends did testing it in, uh, oh, in, uh, okay wait, I am, um, This is like uh, partly like uh, they make like the, the 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 point of view regarding the the, the tactical guide in in practicing in uh, in China and Hong Kong. So they did it really take this uh, guides and then they testing it within their own uh, practice, also collective. So this is the things that we like. If it concerning the archive, then suddenly people could advancing on enhance. The, the short of our idea into their own uh, daily practices. So in a way, it's give us or enrich our knowledge for concerning uh, our practices so far, uh, like before through the, to this uh, particular uh, guideline of Siasat uh, into different way on how people would like to deliver a different kind of uh, articulations in the sense to have uh, a siasat in different way, as we call it. Yeah. Because, I mean, in a simple way, we always try to decompress our idea. Um, I'm Veselina Sereva, I'm from uh, Plovdiv, the second biggest city in Bulgaria. So kind of periphery, I have a gallery, it's complicated to introduce myself, but I have a gallery, foundation, cafe, uh, open art stage, and I do educational activities and festivals and parties and yeah, <laughs> you know, all this. Uh, so um, my question is, um, since you are not uh, curators, um, what will be your success with Documenta? How you think uh, Documenta will be successful at the end with, with your work? Um, I mean, like, um, when you feel, how you feel successful? Because the problem is the most important thing is in your work, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to identify problem in Documenta or in the art world or the art system, or you are going to show how you deal problems. So you are going to show your personal example with what you did in, in Indonesia, or you are going to identify a problem in the art world and heal this this point. I think the second thing will be more more challenging for you. And um, yeah, just I'm I'm curious. 
because I'm also uh, quite interested in problems and I'm working with the problems uh, yeah. in, in my work. So how at the end you feel successful and you'll be happy, you'll say, okay, we did it, it's great. Hopefully we could share uh, or having conversation also with others who have uh, probably good answers to these particular questions. But as for us point of view, at first we don't want to try to heal the wound at least in the sense on, at least we, we trying something that uh, noticing that the wound is still, still there and also noticing the problem also still there because if we try, if we succeeded to heal the wound and we succeeded to answer to this problem and the documenta is over. <laughs> so that, that's, actually, that's actually our aim, just to make these things, okay, is it possible if we, we think about the sex, uh, I mean, in the history of documenta, as we learn so far or to read about, there's always, there's always things that uh, must be left to, for someone to taking care of in another way. So this is the things that we are uh, finding. For example, like suddenly we find out the light oak uh, create what so called platform and then suddenly it's going to be like platform 6 when the like uh, next year so and we, we we start to think like how did oak could uh, concern regarding this uh, matter to create a platform to think more forward or further to have probably the next uh, edition of documenta uh, should be an artist or you think should be a football player this kind of thing that we need to keep alive, in a sense. So that's why uh, we, we didn't think about the success, uh, how Rong Rupa will succeed, for sure. But the things are, because at the beginning we, we're saying, would you like to take the risk together? It should be like, it, is it our concern? I mean, for sure, like we don't want to come to Indonesia as an artistic director. We're going to come to Indonesia as a collective, as a Ruang Rupa. That's, that's partly like our succeed so far because Ruang Rupa also have a possible uh, responsibilities as an artist collective and we also have a, uh, a responsibility like big resp our responsibility is to our ecosystem so th this is actually in particular now it's 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 the, it is like the landmark of our success but for sure we need to challenge this idea in documenta so let's see what's happened for example we always thinking that Every time we go somewhere, we're always thinking that each of every place that we are being is a kitchen, like a big kitchen. There's so many ingredients. There's so many spices. The things are that we, we, we're going to share is how we're going to eat together, if we, we, if we could cook together by different kind of spices and create a new cuisine. And some cuisine could fail, probably. The salt is too much. Or probably the garnish is not too beautiful. Or probably you can not eat all in the one plate. This is the things that we try to recognize first. So that's why we're never thinking about this, the, the how we're going to succeed. But at least what we have concerning is what we, we concern up until now is how we're going to deliver. The notions of this is documenta when Ruang Rupa is an artistic director. Mm. And I think we, we agree also that uh, we, like Reza said, we are, we are not, I know, I know, we are not using the words for healing, but I think uh, it's struggle. I think we exchange with the struggle because when we, like, we realize exactly when we receive, I mean, like, this is going, this will kill us or yeah, for sure. I mean, like we have to survive. I mean, like we struggle with this, uh, like we struggle with uh, our own uh, practices, how to sustain within when we are in Indonesia, for sure. And this risk is, I mean, like we we ask the document that you will take the risk with us or not. So uh, yeah, that's one thing, which I think we asked the jury actually at that time also, that the risk is not only for us but also with you, so uh, if you choose us, I mean like, yeah, you have the risk also, I mean like, uh, we take the risk together, if you, I mean, and I think, like, 
this I think by by working like this, I mean it's you know then we have one thing for sure that we have opportunity to to rethinking this institution again back as as their basic actually so like you know like uh, what we're trying to change not only for the show but also how the institutional thinking like yeah for sure we we will deal with Franz Beckenbauer this is like Der Panzer I mean like it's very uh, tough uh, German uh, you know bureaucracy and so on and that's for sure we understand and that's why I think uh, we ask them to take the risk being part of us together and then uh, then how we started actually so uh, if you want then let's think about your institution my our collectives and how we we work with this together uh, yeah for 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 many things actually yeah we we talked briefly the other day about the non alignment movement and i was wondering will this document will be Will it be the document of the non-alignment movement? <laughs> and you talk, mentioned about uh, geopolitics, and for sure documenta is a geopolitical event. Yeah. So I wonder. I mean, me and Iswanto having these conversations ever since that we were really happy to be invited here in Sofia. Our conversation starts like, uh, even with other guys, but ever since that, it's only two of us who, who could come here, and we said like, is it Indonesia have a good relation with the Bulgaria? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, I, probably we have friends who came from Bulgaria, but in the sense, it's it's friends because of the relations in 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 the art world, not in the sense on how we are going to introduce ourselves in in in, in Sofia in general. I mean, it's gonna be like really exotic if we tell like hey, Jakarta is uh, heavy with a traffic jam. It's a very tropical, we live in Java, and, and we have a history of uh, colonialization. I mean, it's, it's particularly like you could find it everywhere in the Wikipedia, but in a sense like, do we have any good relation with uh, Bulgaria? And then we start to dig, except for football, for sure, aside of that, but in the sense, we are like try to dig like, what, what is the simple relations that comes up in mind if you talk like, Oh yeah, Indonesia. Oh yeah, during that time it was like this, a story like this. So we start with the Iswanto's point of view regarding. Let's see, because we have this non-alliant movement back in 1955, which is that's the first documenta started. Probably we could take this as a part of the points of views on how during that time, like Indonesia uh, is a country. Uh, I mean, uh, forgive us if it's, if it's, if it's, this is wrong or false news, but during that time we're uh, getting out from the United Nations and by getting out by the United Nations for sure we're not uh, included in the Olympic so we create our own alliance movement uh, within uh, Asia Africa yeah, uh, uh, with the uh, Conevo uh, and also and we start games, our Conevo, own yeah, yeah. Olympic Games in the sense and the one that uh, back on this uh, particular uh, stories Jakarta is is shaping, like it's changed a lot. We suddenly have a sport culture, uh, uh, sorry, sport stadiums, like a center for the sport and everything like this. So, if these questions, is it Documenta is going to be the next <laughs> non-alliance in the sense, it's a good thinking actually. Probably we will, we will try to start thinking regarding this matter, but the most important thing for us is to make like, if we're thinking like Documenta is a one of the resource of the developments or acknowledgement regarding the art and cultures in the sense, in the world, then all these shapes through this particular, like Iswanto said, probably we call it institutions, how we're going to uh, distribute this knowledge as, and, then, and, then, and then in our, in our term is to make Documenta is in the collective pot. What kind of what kind of resource that could be delivered regarding their archive, their experience, organizational levels, and also in particular how they work, uh, and also financial probably. So this is the things that we, we try to make alignment in the sense how we're going to interwoven woven, uh, or to align together as a collective and a part of institutions and as part of Documenta 15. So 
so hopefully hopefully in the sense of cooperative we could share this, this kind of knowledge and resources because we 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 mostly have conversation with the document of uh, just use also good school as a part of your resource because for sure we're going to use your resource because this is the, the this is the, how, uh, the strategy on how we're going to play in the same field in the sense okay. how we're going to address uh, these notions on create an alignment regarding our movement something like that but maybe yeah politically maybe with non alignment maybe i i cannot say yes or no now but i think for sure we have like a very uh, i think a close relation with this uh, uh, political movement after uh, the fall of the communist bloc and uh, the the end of the colonialism and imperialism at the time so like we had a very close also i think uh, brostito and so on was uh, yeah yugoslavia it's it's a part of i think uh, this non alignment movement and, at the time and it's recently actually is very uh, activated <clears throat> talk in many international uh, uh, forum and so on and for the exhibition uh, uh, the commemoration of uh, the 1955 uh, uh, non alignment movement at the time so i think yeah, this one is very. I think if if we look at the re recent po uh, global political, I think this kind of I think it it is one of uh, it's, it's very important. Uh, one of the most important, I think, also how uh, um, the geopolitical in the world at the time changed between the east and the west, and then there are in the center. So like you know, so I think it's very actually. Uh, 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 very, uh, you know, in parallel to what the problems now with with uh, the worlds and uh, yeah, the left, the right, the fundamentalists and the populists and so. So I think this kind of things, which kind of you know, uh, 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 we will think about it. But uh, yeah, I cannot say this will be yes <laughs> or no at the moment. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. So first. Uh, <clears throat> It's a small comment. I really admire your attitude because the idea of uh, collectivity as methodology for me is very dear. Uh, but I'm confused because you're talking about uh, processes, you're talking about cooking, you're talking about this feeling of doing things together. But at the same time now with the non-allied countries with 1955 and Documenta, um, I see type of a specific void which technically belongs to European cultural tradition because the question about success of value, art in Europe minus financial success for a very long time meant being memorable and recognizable. To have things memorable and recognizable you need time. You need a time distance. So what are your ideas concerning connections or disconnections between processual art, time, and memory? It's, it's good if uh, there's a confusion about wrong Rupa, so then <laughs> I think like, yeah, I think uh, we, uh, I think the way, I mean like how uh, explain, and we, we're talking about the collectivity, I think it's like, yeah, we, we mostly use the, the uh, everyday uh, what you call uh, uh, customs, maybe for our, our culture, like in Indonesia, for uh, reference to get to issues of what actually what are we practicing. So, uh, based, I think, yeah, it's not like I think I did like the relation between like politically the documenta with the 55. Yeah, there are there are no. I mean, like it's happening at the same era after like the fall I, I mentioned, I think. But it's not like I'm saying that we are towards there. But I think uh, it's, like Reza said, co coincidentally when we are uh, uh, get here and we think about it, what actually the maybe we have relation and uh, we would like to know more about uh, Bulgarian art skin and the politics and the history behind it. And then, uh, yeah, then it's come up like many things pop up. And how, I mean, to, uh, 
when we talk about the memory, I think, yeah, one thing for sure, like, for us, uh, uh, how to, as I mentioned, because, because we are, like, Indonesian was uh, colonized by Dutch for uh, three centuries, so, like, I think working with history, memory, and time also, like, very prominent to us, to uh, how actually a, a post-colonial uh, ship our history and our modern contemporary uh, history and politics. And uh, that is one like, yeah, many, I think, I don't know here, but uh, deal with post colonial maybe Bulgaria never been colonized, but, colonized, but uh, yeah, I think it's once, I think, under the German, I think, if I'm, correct me, I mean, if I'm wrong, I mean, like, during the Nazi period, I think. So, uh, that that was not the um, we were not um, under Nazi uh, actually oh, no. uh, Bulgaria sorry. was an ally of of Nazi Germany at the time. Yeah, sorry, for that. but uh, but we were but we were for five hundred years under Ottoman domination. So ah, okay, and, so, under uh, under the the Ottoman domination. Uh, you cannot okay. be perfect. <laughs> yeah, I think like uh, I don't know here, but maybe like in the case of Indonesia, India, and uh, we are in Southeast Asia and many of. Uh, the African countries which under colonized. I think uh, it's for me like if you see our practice, I think how we change the perception, like uh, how actually the politics under the regime, even it is very, I mean, like very uh, strongly connected to the what actually the, the colonizer at it. It's just actually just kind of a, a continuation of the Dutch into the new modern politics. Uh, in Indonesia and during the uh, new order regime and I think that's how actually uh, yeah, it just ha actually ha happened what the same thing the coalition the corruption and the military uh, oppression and uh, there are no freedoms and, 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 and so many things so like what we uh, after the fall of the regime actually what we uh, are trying to uh, did by from from this uh, activity from uh, started uh, yeah with uh, festival uh, workshop empowerment and I think through arts I think it's kind of it's not healing but I think it's kind of a way of uh, struggling with this uh, uh, time and memories of uh, how actually this political. Uh, Oppression and, and situation in Indonesia in the in the well, from 65 up to uh, 98. So I think it's like 30 years. Uh, I think how. So I don't know if, if you time if, if you, your question is uh, uh, context of uh, time and, and memory in, in in what kind of. Uh, yeah, and also like addressing for sure. Like uh, it's it's at the first. It's such a privilege to know and to gain, like to learn and also to find out what is a documenta in the sense on when we start to visit and to dig different kind of uh, archive and as we call it, not through only documenta archive, but through different kind of neighboring area in castle. For sure, they have lots of different experience to engage what's so called about the documenta and also in the position of documenta in the art world itself. Most of us in Indonesia is, think, is, is always thinking Europe is only part of the West side. But some other points also, for example, like in the, in the Sukarno era, our first presidents, Europe is East part. So that's why this kind of notions then we find out, for sure through documenta, we, sh we, 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 we always have this privilege to dig in regarding the notions of the memory and time-wise, for sure, I mean, regarding the process itself, we need two years yet enough, or probably this particular several months uh, from February until now could be suit or less, or is it three years should be enough or not enough, but at least we have the privilege to get in touch within the locals, with experience most not only through Documenta, but to Castle itself. I mean, ever since Documenta starting in castles, there's a lot of, gen uh, of generation through generations who deal in the fact that Documenta shaped them life. This is really important, rather than the Documenta itself. Because we see like the most resourceful 
regarding this memory, collective memory, personal landmark, generations, generations through generations dealing with documenta is the people who live in castles or the people who really affected by dealing or contributing themselves, not only through wise or knowledge, but through their own time and effort to deal with the documenta. Because we see documenta as a whole part of activities that really suck you in, like really put you into deep. Not only us as an artistic director, not only them as a curator, not only once as an artist, but also within its own local capabilities. They're talking about economy. They're counting about their own effort with, within having time for creating or introducing their own neighborhood when people came. They, the, the one who like really disturb when people or spectators live in, uh, stay in castle for several days. The one who get disturbed when suddenly in some neighborhood there was a party or celebration when documenta happened. So this is the things that we try to acknowledge. Not only through documenta itself, for sure the documenta as a part of the landmark is there. But the one that we need to find out regarding time and memory is the one that we have to seek and also we, we need to put more sensibility regarding what's happened in the local, in the local notions if documentas happen. So this is actually part of the challenge, like the big challenge for us to really taking care of this matter, not only documenta is in Europe, but also on how documenta also create in a very good way or very sophisticated, not only through its artwork, but to how documentas ever since created in Kassel. Um, so, Voin and then Vera, and we wrap it up. Then I will ask my question fast. My name is Voin, and um, I was very intrigued uh, in your presentation about uh, the idea of knowledge as source to distribute, share, and I think it would be a very challenging encounter and exchange, but um, I cannot help myself seeing a certain problematic towards the Western tradition of knowledge production and maybe the position you're coming from and looking at it as a kind of source of living, coexisting together, talking about sustainability and um, I'm wondering what kind of new connections needs to be done in this bigger collective, the society, in order for this risk to be actually effective. And also I would like to ask you, what actually did you ask for the documenta, uh, yeah, what is the risk actually that you're taking on here? It's really, uh, it's very, um, it's very elaborative because this is also in particular what we are thinking, rega especially regarding the notion of sustainability. Is because ever since that, I mean, ever since that we are as a collective, uh, sometimes you work, sometimes in loop. Sometimes you, you, you didn't recognize that uh, something might come to happen. Or sometimes when you get bigger and then suddenly it's giving frictions to each of a particular that surround you. So uh, at least so far, we generate this what so-called uh, uh, three pillars to what, what we're dealing so far. First, we always have a questions or put issues regarding what is art and activism. This is the things that always comes up first, because in particular, that's part of our position as, as, as an artist, individually and also as collective, but also partly in, in, on our positions as a supporting system or as an organization. So what is an art and activism actually? Because suddenly when we, we deal with this point, it's always different answer. And in particularly, it's always different answer every time. So it it's didn't have any solid or uh, like really exact or persistent answer regarding this matter. Everybody have their own voices, everybody on their own practices. And the second, how about on how we're going to acknowledge as well, how we're going to sustain and distribute this partly so-called educations? Is it is there any formal or informal education so far? Is it we going to 
uh, mostly involve or questionings or blaming into school system, or you cannot deal with yourself. This is also like the questions that has arise up until now regarding our collective. I mean, this 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 kind of question actually the ones that we did we don't need to find the answer, but this is the questions that we, it's always there at least to criticize ourselves individually as a person, also as a professional, not only as an artist. And the third and the third pillar that we recognize is regarding sustainability for sure, like. Do we need to find some new economy module, or do we need to secure ourselves be sufficiently to find out the model of the new economy? What is economy actually? Because ruang rupa is never have a chance. For example, as a collective artist, uh, being in the art market, or us even individually. So we, 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 we need we always raising these kind of questions. So regarding these uh, three questions from us, we addressing to uh, documenta as, a, as, a, as, a, as a one of the proposals, because we need to find out that is there any possibility that we could work together? For example, uh, like, uh, like at, at, the, at, the, at the first discussions. Um, when we try to create collective pot, for example, is it we need to secure the money to put in the collective pot and to distribute it as a new economic model? Because we know for sure Documenta will r could raise some funding and could have the, 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 the knowledge of economy. They're really good at it. But the notions, if, if we could secure some money, is it fair enough to distribute to other collective that work in a very important way that we need to support. But we were thinking, we have the experience to work co actively with different kind of network, and the money is not working actually, it's not working properly as a part of sustainability. So this is the things that we address. Probably we could begin with the zero seeds, or not seeds at all. And let's see how to find how it's connect, because uh, regarding our uh, experience so far, or uh, our related practices to work with a different collective, we find out we 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 actually address the same questions, and also we always address the same mm, notions to work collectively, but in a different way. So, at least by this moment, uh, within our again privilege. Uh, becoming artistic director documenta is to learn actually and to learn but not sharing because sharing is always way on giving so that's why we, 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 we always because this is such an Indonesian term actually like mengobrol like having conversations so we need th this particular uh, conversations to develop so that's why we we need to find out that documenta have need to to willing to work with us put conversation in matter. Uh, impression from your presentation that you uh, managed to involve uh, the audiences uh, very well uh, territorially. I mean, in, your, in Jakarta, you obviously um, successfully uh, engaged people there. And uh, since you're kind of working territorially, how are you going to face um, or uh, this this uh, crowd of art people from 1.2 million, very diverse uh, people coming from all over Europe and the world that are coming with the highest expectation uh, to see the art from today. And this is my first question. And uh, mm, the other is, aren't you afraid that if you embed all your activities in Castle, you're going to put the center in your exhibition or event or whatever you call the commenta, again very territorially. And the third thing is, what is your um, opinion, uh, or how are you going to reflect the fact that there are so many Europeans traveling to Indonesia or to Bali for a vacation? And how? What do you think? And uh, ecological um, perspective about this. Uh, um, the, well, okay. Yeah, if you if you are 
I assume that you're very good in um, engaging the community, or uh, as, I, as I heard, your plan is to involve the community in Castle. Um, but then you have this very diverse international crowd that, uh, that didn't know what you, did you do in Castle so far, and they're coming with the greatest expectation to see uh, the show, and how are you going to address these people? Uh, and aren't you afraid that if you put a lot of energy in Castle, then you're going to lose um, the the big uh, picture of what is Documenta? Because for many of us, Documenta is something like very global, international as an event, and um, you know uh, it's a center for for the for for the world art for like uh, two months, for instance. I think I, I answered the, the second one. I think that's for sure. I mean, like, uh, yeah, uh, for sure. We, we, but uh, we maybe it's not really worried because we have, uh, I think, 10 members actually. So, like, even like we have 10 curators actually. So, like, even two of us working in Castle. So, there is another eight members who will. I mean, like, so I think for sure we will work definitely uh, with what your question is like locally, but also internationally, both in both ways. And uh, we are not working, I mean, like, we, we will have also another artistic team working with us, so like uh, another team together. So uh, I think our concern is both, I mean, like, for sure, we think about the locals, but I think, like, uh, we are also trying to avoid like uh, like what already been yeah many critics that document that came as an alien ship that it's come every five years and it's gone so actually uh, in both ways for sure like uh, yeah uh, we are not I mean like hundred percent just put attention on the local but also uh, in both ways similar how to reconnect this both local and global in a way. And uh, as a starting point, that uh, what actually can be shared together between what we, so that's why I'm I'm thinking I'm, I'm I, I mentioned before that uh, we will have this one platform in Castle, another platform internationally, another platform in Indonesia. So like these three uh, platform with come together when a document happens. So it's like you know keep in balance of what actually. What we're practicing in Indonesia with the school and so on, and with our uh, 20, uh, 20 years of practice, and then with the international platform, and then with the local platform. So, like these three, will come together as a three layers. We will mix together in 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 the edition. So, like yeah. Uh, yeah, in the short of point of view, actually, like if you're talking about the expectations, especially, it's good to recognize our good documentation so far so you could recognize that we could we could really engage with the things that happen in Jakarta which only the things are Jakarta is also big for us comparing to castle so but this no these notions or, or, or point of view regarding how uh, because we we mostly working terri territorially uh, back in Jakarta and instantly we we need to find out or to strategize ourselves uh, to be more subtle uh, concerning ourselves in Castle, and also uh, the other, the, the, the most uh, biggest things is because of the documenta itself. So that's why we we didn't want to to promise you like this is a good documenta in those in the sense, but what we're trying to do up until now is first. We need to identify what is documenta actually for us, at least for us, because we also have expectations. Us never been to documenta and us never been involved with documenta and suddenly us becoming one of the big family of documenta. So imagine like you suddenly have a family without recognizing any other element inside the family and suddenly you becoming part of the family. So this is, this is the things that we try to engage. But for sure, we have also expectation, and most of the expectation is it's, for sure it's good. It's good to our needs, and also it's good for the Comenta, and it's good 
for the things that mostly will happen in castles or the things that mostly waiting uh, waiting us back in Jakarta in particular and also it's it should be good for the things that happen in the world uh, that's probably too ambitious in the sense and also like in in, in particular we, we we always we always thinking differently because this is 10 of us plus the artistic team as we call it so we're going to have like different kind of uh, related uh, point of views or at least now is this our our chance to criticize on each other method to approach what is so called documenta and and in particular regarding uh, to see documenta as a platform or, or or as a center this is the things that's been around every every years or ever in the, in this decades it's been always like that so this is also part of our consideration for example uh, how about the one so unlucky never been to documenta if documenta is always thinking but then self because it's center, it's being centralized. But in Asia region, for example, in the context of center, there's a lot of centers now being developed physically, structurally, and also mentally. Japan, Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, they create different kind of what so-called center. So this is, we, we thinking about the center is partly, we thinking about the different kind of resource, I mean, really, really important resource not only seeing documenta because the documenta is, is too far it's really too far for us who unlucky enough to go to germany or to to visit documenta in each of, of five years so we were thinking about how we're going to articulate what is center actually what is center what, what, what why and, and how it's becoming center because if we see to the other side there's also a center if we see to other part, it's also a center. So we, we get confused, especially in the nowadays geopolitical situations, in the so-called psychogeography kind of thing. Everybody has their own center. Everybody has their own position to create different kind of landmark, individually and institutionally. So this is also, we try to, to generate, not answering it, to generate questions regarding what is center. Did, does Documenta need Fredicianum as a center or the, the center could be moved to other place at Hollanda, Hollandish Strasse, for example, in this very, in the Turkish community, for example, or somewhere in the park that belong to MHK, for example. So this is, this, is, this is the exercise that we still drill up until now. And concerning the matter, not only European to travel to Bali, I mean, even us also love to travel to Bali, uh, but but in the sense of the ecological way of thinking, for sure, like this, I mean, if you in particular say Bali, it's always the good destination. Because why? Because they have international airport. If the international airport only in Java, they, they're going to travel mostly to Jakarta. This is also a particular reason we see it more to the east part in the sense of our uh, notions as a Javanese living in, in, in a particular land of Java. We see Bali as a part of destinations. Destinations, like, desti <laughs> like a part of the, this is our journey, go to Bali. Bicycle riding, motorcycle touring, using train, having some buses or to flight. But actually, the things that happen now in Bali, they only cram in the southern part of Bali. They never really realized that other sense of the Balinese uh, island, for sure, it's, 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 they have like a different sense. But concerning this ec ecological point of view, at least now we try to calculate, just to make, just to make really playful uh, uh, mind games. So if you travel to Bali, spending 15 hours on the plane, Let's count. So what is compensation that you will make afterwards? For example, you spend 15 hours on the plane, which is a uh, thousand kilometers. Probably you could compensate yourself for two years or three years only walking in Sofia. 
quite performative, but in the sense, that's the things that we try to generate. But for sure, we, we, we were thinking regarding this matter. For example, our experience in the Fuji Rock, the, the, the last Fuji Rocks event uh, in, in Japan, they really have a good structures on how they uh, addressing or waste management into waste management. Japanese like really, really good. That's part of our example. And then suddenly, when suddenly we're thinking, we're talking about this, like, wow, they're really, inf they're really inventive to really good inventions, how to deal with the mess management. And then suddenly this question arise. But you fly from Jakarta to here. How about your carbon waste? Oh, and then suddenly it just like give you like a... But yes, we're thinking about this matter. I mean, this is not about us responsibilities. It's about us as a part of the mobilities in, in issues. Uh, so how are we going to address it? I mean, we need to find a way on how we strategize ourselves, probably from start from individuals in a sense. I mean, if you're thinking globally, for sure, it's not even Indonesia as a country could answer this kind of questions. But in a sense, at least we, we acknowledge this has happened. Yeah, but yeah. also the case of Bali is, I think, interesting because now lots of international intention, uh, attention also put on the environmental uh, damage already. But I think if, yeah, I mean, like, but like, like uh, in other words, I can, um, I can say that also this happened because of, yeah, of course, many tourists coming there. I mean, like, if I rem remember, like, maybe 30 years ago when... Uh, I was there as a kid. I, I, I holiday. There, there are no electricity already yet there, and yeah, everything is still, still natural. Beaches are clean, and I think. And actually, what happened for the past years, I think, it become very famous and so on. And yeah, so many tourists from anywhere coming there, and the culture now changed. So I think this tension between local and the global also uh, always there, like uh, being. Bali also is economically like uh, uh, happy that there are tourists coming there, but also in other way, um, it damages also the culture and uh, the environment. So I think, yeah, uh, I think government already start uh, 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 a few years ago to protect many things, and and yeah, they lose many things also with 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 the rules, with the policy also, which. Uh, I think even now what really sad is that maybe only I think less than 50% maybe the land owned by the Balinese maybe it's owned by international company from Australia and Europe and so on America and so, so many so I think uh, yeah I think how this uh, tension I mean like we cannot blame for the Balinese also and but I think yeah this how actually uh, uh, what we build things together, the tension between this, uh, uh, the culture, the internationally, the globally, and then what actually the transformation between in the local. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like we, I mean, in Ruang Rupa, I think we never been working with, I think like, like, like we are not really theoretical uh, a kind of, uh, in our practices, we are mostly based on our daily practices. So like uh, how we address also uh, mostly uh, we are not really um, philosophy and uh, uh, that's how we deal with it. So yeah. Oh, I, I just I just uh, could have uh, one question. What do you expect for us within documenta the next documenta? Oh as no. Europa as <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No, you were invited here to tell us what we can expect from you. We wanted to learn about you first. <laughs> yeah, with the it's going, we're going to be elaborating. There is time for that. You still have yeah. almost three years. <laughs> <laughs> so it's too early to, to burden you with... with uh, yeah. But really, um, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank for, you very for, much for, for this for presentation. Everything. Appreciate it. Lots. Thank you, really. Thank you for um, I just have to say uh, a, 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 an announcement uh, and, and then uh, just with the thank you. So the, the purpose of this back to school uh, platform is first to learn about people who are doing uh, these exhibitions because a curator or artistic director or an artist is first and foremost a person, a human being with uh, he, he, her or her, uh, his interests 
be that as it may, an uh, individual or a group. So thank you so much for providing us with so much information about what you do, who you are, and now at least I have a much better idea what to expect from the next documenta. Uh, and then the, the announcement in one month's time, uh, I think uh, between the 12th and the 15th of December, uh, the, the last uh, couple of, of uh, artistic directors uh, will be here. Uh, 